Hello, I'm Heydarian. I'm with you by a new video about normal range of laboratory tests. When you take a laboratory examination, you receive a report with some numbers for quantitative parameters. But these numbers are normal or abnormal. These numbers should be compared with a normal value. But where come from these amounts? NCCLS or the National Committee for Clinical Laboratory Standards recommended to choose at least 120 samples and uh, some specialists recommended at least 200 samples of healthy people for determination of normal range. It's very important to condition be as the same as routine laboratory methods. Result divided into a chart and the region that 950% of results are situated expected as a normal range and it also called reference interval or reference value or reference range. There are some factors that should be considered for determination of normal range, such as sex and age. For example, hemoglobin and hematocrit in men and women are different. Or testosterone related to age and sex is different. Time, test time. Some internal factor have a daily cycle. Therefore, it's very important to do it in, a, in, an, in an exact time and normal range defines as these times. For example, cortisol should be examined at 8 a.m. or 4 p.m. This is false. Normal range of some internal factors defined as a of disease. For example, hemoglobin A1c to determination of blood glucose level in last three months in diabetes, defined as a normal people, pre-diabetic, diabetic, or good control. There are some other factors that should be considered in interpretation of test results such as race of community, geographical area, and therefore the effect of temperature, sea level, barometric, barometric pressure, humidity, and time zone. Interpretation of test results should be done by a physician because other factors must be also considered, such as clinical examination results, results of other diagnostic methods such as radiography, sonography, CT scan, MRI, and other. Family history of herdiatry disease, medications, amount of using drugs, and interaction between drugs. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Bye.